Hey everybody, I'm gonna give everybody an update today so I'm not texting a million people. Um, had a pretty good day, still fighting off uh, nausea. I don't know, help me rem remember <laughs> everything. Still fighting off nausea. The, uh, they did a CT scan last night and we haven't technically heard anything back or officially heard anything back, but the report that they posted in her chart, um, uh, it looked like uh, the ventricles were shrinking still. So that's a good thing. It's a positive thing. Um, but we haven't heard back for sure. They also have it in her chart, uh, the possible discharge date of tomorrow still. So that hasn't changed uh, unless uh, a doctor comes in and <laughs> changes their plans in the morning. Uh, they usually come in at like 6 a.m., uh, between 6 and 7, and talk to us. So we're still still working through that. We... Uh, Got off the floor today, got her in a wheelchair, and got her around the hospital. That was interesting. Um, <laughs> we explored explored MD Anderson um, all the way around. We explored, we got lost, we explored some more, got lost again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's fun. This place is huge and a, and a maze. Um, but then she's also done a lot of walking too, so we, we did a pretty good round trip laps earlier. Uh, so she's walking really good got a little dizziness but nothing like she had before before was like total like world spinning vertigo and now it's just kind of uneasy i mean that could be because they got on such heavy medications and um you know and her brain's just yeah, i'm sure there's swelling and things it's it's shifting back into position where it's supposed to be kind of getting used to that new drain and everything so uh it sounds like that's all normal so we're waiting to hear if uh, that's the case, but we're still hopeful that we're gonna break out of this joint tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> it will be uh, 10, 10 days, <laughs> 10 days of incarceration here. Uh, <laughs> we feel like we're ready to go. Cabin fever has set in and uh, we're done. But otherwise she's doing really good. Her spirits are high. She's got on regular clothes right now. Um, her hair is a mess. So I am absolutely uh, not allowed to show anything in a camera or a video, but you can hear her voice. So say hello again. Hello again. <laughs> so yeah. So any of you who know Mandy know why I'm not taking any pictures. Sorry. Very, very, very picky over what that's going to look like. But um, man, the nurse today has been really good. A male nurse. Um, he's been great. He's been taking care of her, but just fighting that nausea off. Even though she's got the nausea, she has been eating normal food. So that's a good thing. Her appetite is actually up. Um, we've got some, uh, some. Uh, she's got some fettuccine Alfredo and some fruit and stuff coming here in a minute. It's gonna be pretty good. So she's eating well, for sure. It's been great. Um, what else? Yeah, we uh, working with the doctor to figure out when, you know, all the, the final stuff, like how to, elevator head and things like that when we get home um you know when when he thinks she should drive which obviously till the dizziness goes away we know the answer to that one but yeah I, just wanna ask. I know she's she's ready to she's ready to be independent again and not have to hold my hand <clears throat> she doesn't like being tethered to me that's not true <laughs> but uh otherwise everything's going good so um thank you and uh for the continual prayers that you guys send and um so let's see so thank you ethan and marty for last night uh, sending that food over uh, sarah said that that's some good brisket uh, from wherever that came from so um yeah we have to figure that out so we'll try so i can try it out so uh, we're we're living outside vicariously through sarah because we're stuck in here so um and uh brian and Jeannie, thank you we received a care package today with uh all the stuff needed to not have to wash dishes and <laughs> and some grocery shopping so that was much appreciated so we did get that thank you so much for that and um who else just everybody for the prayers for the food just for everything yeah that's right just everything you guys are doing um we appreciate it um like i said we're kind of hard-headed when it comes to asking for help um 
and we just try to figure it out on our own and and so we're appreciative appreciative of friends and family who uh who just say you know what uh, i'm gonna get you out of your own way and i can see what you need so we're gonna do this and it's been very helpful it's been great so we're super appreciative um but yeah but we're also super tired uh you can see the date on this that's the day i got this armband and in that um the day the sunday i think i don't know whatever the night fell on maybe that was a saturday the day we came in the er we've been here ever since i've, I've been wearing this armband the entire time and that's what gives me access in and out and around so but uh we're tired and we're ready to get out of this joint yes yeah, they've been taking a lot of really good care of us but we're over it. We know Sarah's got a surgery coming, and then Mandy's got another one coming up soon. Um, we uh, we are still hopeful on the um, information the doctor gave us about at Mandy's age. You know, the the next surgery she has that could possibly be her last one, right? Amen. Yeah, she's. We're really hanging on to that. So, uh, if you guys would be praying with us on that, that. You know, he said uh, what they told us is historically speaking that at, at her age, they um, no new ones uh, usually grow, and the ones that they have usually stop growing. So finally, a perk to me getting older. <laughs> a, a perk, a perk to getting older. She said. So uh, yeah, so we're we're hanging on to that hope. That's that's definitely something uh, something we hope happens, and uh, hoping be honest i'm hoping this with sarah is a one-time thing and she doesn't have yes. to continually deal with it but vhl is a is a weird and tricky little thing um they don't know enough about it they're literally just going off historical and and what their research shows here uh, between here and the mayo clinic so uh anything else any other updates um tiki i hope you like it you're still liking the update videos <laughs> You told me to keep doing them, so we're doing them every day. Uh, but thanks, everybody. Love y'all. Love you.